این لنگویج چیز بود مات از فان با چه مفعل قبل ما نبدا دروسنا النهارده اوعى تنسوا تشتركوا في القناه وتفعلوا الجرس عشان توصلكوا جميع دروس العام الدراسي 2020 اول ليسونز داي ليسون 24 ليسون 25 اند ليسون 26 ليتس ستارت ويز ليسون 24 وات اباوت ذا كي فوكابولري فور ذس ليسون Expanded form, place value, standard form, value, word form. We studied before place value and value for the numbers. And also in the last lesson we studied the standard form and expanded form. What about word form? Today we will talk about word form. 600. Plus 30 plus 5, this is expanded form. If I have a card with 600 plus 30 plus 5, I'm looking for my friend with a card that says 635 because you know that when we add the value of the number, we will have the number like 635 equals 635. So, if I have a card with 600 plus 30 plus 5, I'm looking for my friend with a card that says 635. Because you know that 600 plus 30 plus 5 equals 635. So, 600 plus 30 plus 5, this is expanded form. Well done. What about 635? 300. 635 is standard form. But today we will have another form, which is word form. We will write the number in words or in letters. Like what? Like one. One in the standard form. We will write one like this. But one in word form, write one as O N E. O N E. One. What about two? Two. T W O. Two in words. One in words. So this is word form. But that is. Standard form. Three here in the standard form. We can write three here in word form. T H R double E. Four. F O U R. Five. F I V E. Six. S I X. Seven. S E V E M. Eight E I G H T nine N I N E. So this is standard form, but that is word form. We now we studied standard form, expanded form, and word form. Try to apply with me. Here we have standard form and here we have word form. Look at this table, 10 in standard form and he writes in, in word form like T-E-N. Now choose no, another number like, okay, we can say 20. So 20, T-W-E-N-T-Y, 20 in words. So this is the word form, but that is standard form. We can choose another one, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90. Okay, 
Now we increase the value of the number by 10. 10 plus 10 equals 20, plus 10 equals 30, plus 10 equals 40, plus 10 equals 50, plus 10 equals 60, plus 10 equals 70, plus 10 equals 80, plus 10 equals 90. Do you remember 120 short? Yeah, well done. Now look at these numbers and look at the standard form and the word form. Pay attention. The, in the word form, we write the numbers by words or letters. You can play with your friends. You can say five. Who can write five in word form? Your friend will say, yes, I am. Yes, I can. Yes, I can write in word form. Five is F-I-V-E. Okay, another have standard form and there we have word form. And we started last last lesson, expanded form. The second lesson is lesson 25. Let us see the key vocabularies. Expanded form, standard form, word form. Okay, remember that we studied in lesson 24 and lesson 23, standard form, expanded form, and word form. Give me an example for standard form. Yeah, well done, 125. 125 is an example which expresses standard form. What about this number? which express expanded form 100 plus 20 plus 5 100 plus 20 plus 5 express expanded form what about word form write it in words write it in words like 125 or 125 1 O N E hundred H U N D R E D twenty T W E N T Y five F I V E one hundred twenty five. This is the word form. Okay, now we will apply. Here we have a table with the standard form and word form. Look at this table. You can see 10 in the standard form and 10 in word form. 10 in the standard form like this, but 10 in word form, T-E-N. We can write any numbers like, um, uh, okay, 5, F-I-V-E, another one, 70. Okay, S E V E N T Y four F O U R. Please let your students choose numbers. Okay, who can? Another one, 20. 20, okay, T W E N T Y. 20 here in standard form, but 20 there in word form. Two T W O. F I F T U R. Okay, repeat after me again. Ten, five, seventy, four, twenty, two, fifty. Well done. Now, okay, now we have a standard form and word form inside this table but we have 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 18 19 can you write these numbers in a standard form it's so easy 11 12 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 
19. And pay attention to that. In the sentence form, when we write 11, we have one in units of place or ones of place and one in tens of place. And when we write 12, which is here in word form, and we want to write 12 in the standard form, we write 2 in ones of place and 1 in tens of place. When we write 13, which is here in word form, and we want to convert it to standard form, we write 3 in units of place and 1 in tens of place. And when we write 14, which is here in word form, and we want to convert it to standard form, we write 4 in 1 to place and 1 in 10 to place. What about 15 here? If I F T double E N 15 here is in excellent word form. So I want to from you to convert it to standard form. Write 5 in 1 to place and 1 in 10 to place, which has become 15. 16 here is in word form, but we want to write 16 in standard form, so write 6 in 1s and 1 in 10s. What about 17? S E V E N T E E N. 17 here is in word form. We're done. And we can write it in the standard form, like 7 in 1s a place and 1 in 10s a place. What about 18? 18 here in word form, and we want to convert it to standard form, so we will write 8 in once a place and 1 in tens a place. 19 here is in word form, and we want to convert it to standard form, so write 9 in the once a place and 1 in tens a place. Pay attention, we studied word form, which is words or write the number in letters and we studied standard form before which is write the number in digits and we studied expanded form which is stretch out the number like 100 plus 20 plus 5 like this okay now we finished lesson 25 and we will start with lesson 26 I have 224. Who has 300 plus 50 plus 3? Okay, what is the idea of this game? The idea of this game is each student has a card. So, he will say, I have this number. Who has this no, those numbers in the expanded form? When another student say, I have, who has, they will play again and again and again to find all the numbers. To find all the numbers. Okay, let's start. فأنا معايا مين معايا؟ كل واحد من الطلاب هيبقى معايا في الكارت بتاعه عدد مكتوب ومعايا الرمزية يا إما مكتوب في صيغة الممتدة اللي هي expanded form. فهو بيقول أنا معايا مثلا في الإكزامبل الأولاني اللي معانا ده أنا معايا 224. مين معاه اللي 300 plus 50 plus 3 اللي هي في expanded form فطالب تاني من اللي يكون معاه العدد بس طبعا العدد هيكون مع الطالب التاني في standard form فلازم يركز كويس جدا وهو بيجمع values بتاعة الاعداد دي على بعض فيبدأ يبص معاه مثلا واحد من الطلبة هيلاقي معاه 353 in standard form هيقول اوكي اي هاف هو هاز ويسال بقى على الاكسباندد فورم اللي موجوده معاه اوكي ليتس ستارت اي هاف هو هاز اي هاف 224 هو هاز 300 بلس 50 بلس 3 اوكي اي هاف 353 بيكوز هير وي هاف 300 بلس 50 بلس 3 سو if you have, say, I have 353. Who has 400 plus 20 plus 1? Hmm. I have to 421. 400 plus 20 plus 1 equals 421. Who has 600 plus 90 plus 9? 
I have 699. Who has 700 plus 80 plus 3? I have 783. Who has 500 plus 20 plus 9? I have 529. Who has 500 plus 10 plus 3? الفكرة بتاعت اللعبة إن اللي كان معايا هنا 224 قال أنا معايا 224 يا ترى مين معاه اللي 353 بس هي مكتوبة كانت معايا هنا في الـ expanded form مين معاه نفس الـ value دي بس في الـ في الـ standard form هيقول أنا معايا 224 يا ترى مين معاه 300 plus 50 plus 3 طبعا اللي هيكون معاه مش هتكون في الـ expanded form بالشكل ده في الستاندرد فورم فهيدور اللي هيكون معاه هيقول I have 353 who has وبيسأل بقى على الفورد اللي موجود معاه في الاكسباندد فورم واللي هو بيدور على الستاندرد فورم بتاعته هو معاه في الاكسباندد فورم 400 plus 20 plus 1 who has طبعا اللي معاه هيقول I have 421 وهيسأل عن الفاليوز اللي موجودة معاه في الاكسباندد فورم واللي هو بيدور على الستاندرد فورم بتاعتها مع واحد تاني من زمايل بيقول هو هاز 600 بلس 90 بلس 9 اللي معاه هيقول I have 699 خدوا بالكم هنا في الاكسباندد فورم لكن زميله لقاها معاه في الستاندرد فورم وبيسأل بقى على كارت جديد معاه موجود في الاكسباندد فورم بيدور على الستاندرد فورم بتاعته Who has 700 plus 80 plus 3? اللي معاه هيقول I have 783. خدوا بالكم 700 هنا plus 80 plus 3 في ال expanded form. في ال expanded form. واحنا بندور على حد يكون معاه نفس ال values دي بس في ال a بس في ال a excellent في ال standard form. So I have 700. 83. Who has 500 plus 20 plus 9? Hmm. I have 500 plus 20 plus 9. I have expanded form and I search for its standard form. Yeah, I have 529. Who has 500 plus 10 plus 3? And so on. Now show it. We have here 500 plus 30 plus 8, this is expanded form, and 7 plus 20 plus 400, another expanded form, and 300 plus 80 plus 5, also another expanded form. And pay attention here, we can start expanded form with hundreds place, then tens, then ones, or we can start with ones, then tens, then hundreds. There is no difference at all. Start with ones or start with hundreds because here we add the values of the number, it's the same. There is no difference. You can start with hundreds like this or you can start with ones like this. And the other side we have 427, 385, 538. Now we want to match the expanded form by its standard form. Look at the first one. 500 plus 30 plus 8. So, this number in the standard form, 538. Is that 538? No! This is 300. Is that 538? Yes! So, Match the first one by the last one. Secondly, we have 7 plus 20 plus 400. So, 427. This is the expanded form, and we want to match it by its standard form, 427. So, match expanded form by its standard form. So the last one is 300 plus 80 plus 5. This is expanded form and we joined it by 
385. Now complete. This is expanded for 100 plus 20 plus 5. We want to write it in the standard form. So we will write, well done, 125. Because we have 100 here, which is 1 in hundreds of place, 20 here, which is 2 in tens of place, and 5 here, which is 5 in ones of place. What about 700 plus unknown number plus unknown number equals 789? Firstly, that is firstly this is expanded form and other side we have standard form. So pay attention here. Seven in hundreds of place, seven hundred. What about eight in tens of place? Well done, eighty. What about nine in ones of place? Its value is nine. So when you study expanded form you must pay attention for place value of the number and value of the number. Because place value of the number tell you the value of the number. And here, when we know that 7 in hundreds of place, we write its value as 700. When we know that 8 in tens of place, we write its value as 80. When we know that 9 in ones of place, we write its value as 9. Another example, 2 plus 50 plus 400. وقبل ما أكمل شرح هنا الحقيقة أنا تعمدت إن أنا أغير الأماكن وما نبدأش دايما بال hundreds وبعدها ال tens وبعدها ال ones وإحنا بنجمع لأن ممكن جدا نبدأ بال ones وبعدين ال tens وبعدين ال hundreds وسواء اتكتبت كده سواء اتكتبت كده الاتنين ممكن يتعرض ليهم الطالب علشان كده ننوع في الأسئلة إن الطالب لازم يبقى فاهم مش حافظ. مش اللي يبدا في الاول حطه في خمسه الهندرد واللي يبدا واللي يجي في الاخر يتحط في الوانز ده بيوقع الطلبه في ان هم بيبقوا حافظين مش فاهمين لا هو لازم يبقى فاهم كويس جدا دي 2 2 دي انا نطقتها 2 يبقى هي مكانها في الوانز لان الفاليو بتاعتها زي ما هي دي 50 50 has 10 to the right of the number ال 50 فيها 0 على يمين العدد ال 50 كده الفاليو بتاعتها 5 in tens of place طيب ال 400 اللي هي 4 and 2 zeros to the right of 4 this is expressed 4 in hundreds of place so the number is well done 452 the last one 300 plus 0 plus 4 والحقيقة ما فيش اي examples اتعرض ليها في الكتاب هنا في الجزء بتاع الاكسباندد فورم بيكون فيها زيرو لازم ندرب ولادنا على كل الافكار علشان يبقوا مستعدين ليها مفيش مشكله خالص ان يكون في مكان عندنا في مش موجود فيه ديجيت زي التنس هنا مش موجود فيها اي ديجيت ولا اي نمبرز سو وي ويل رايت ات از 300 4 4 in one We will write zero in tens of place we, because we have in tens here. Okay, today we talk about word form, standard form, and expanded form. Many thanks, my dear students. See you in next lesson, inshallah, with my best wishes. Shaymat.